All right, so the answers to these test example questions for type of one, the variables in number one are the letters in this expression. So x is a variable and y is a variable. x cubed is not itself a variable. The variables are just the letters. The coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. And one thing to remember is if you have subtraction, you can change subtraction to plus the opposite or plus a negative. So the coefficients are technically the 3, the negative 14, and the negative 2. It would be wrong if you wrote negative 3x, for example. The exponents are the exponents for each term. If there is no exponent written, like with the 3x, that is 3x to the first power. Same with the y. So there are two different exponents, a 1, a 3, and then another 1. The number of terms is 3. Remember, the terms are separated by addition and that's why I like to change those minus signs to plus or negative. And then the degree is the exponent or the highest degree term. And if we look at the degree of each term, this first one is degree 1, this one's degree 3, and this one's degree 1. So the degree of the polynomial expression as a whole is the highest of those, which is 3, or third degree. Moving along to number two, there are many different correct answers for these. You just had to come up with your own. So let's, you could use whatever letters you want. Let's say I'm using the letter X as a variable, and you could have more variables, but I would just keep it simple and use one. So you have to have an X to the fourth somewhere in there if you're using X. And you can't have like x to the 5 or anything higher. You can have an x cubed or an x squared or an x to the first or some constants in there. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what it is, whoops, but it has to be a binomial. So right now I wrote a trinomial. I have three terms there, so um, I better erase one. So now I have a fourth degree binomial. It needs to have two terms, which make it a binomial, and the highest degree term has to be a four. So a third degree trinomial is going to have an x cubed in it. And it could have x squared, it could have x's, it could have constants. But you need three, three terms because it's a trinomial. So you know, 5x cubed minus x squared minus 3. That has three terms. And again, the highest degree term has to be a three. So those two questions are kind of like your basic idea for target one. Moving into number three, this one's getting a little more at the meets category for target one. So can you take an expression and simplify it and then identify the different parts of the polynomial? So, to simplify this, the first thing you're going to have to do is take parentheses away using the distributive property. So I'm going to take 5x times 2 to get 10x, minus 5x times x to get 5x squared. And then this is where I think a lot of people make a simple mistake. You are not distributing the 3 here. You are distributing a negative 3. So plus negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. You could also write that as minus 12x. And a lot of you probably had minus 12x there, but you may have forgotten that you're distributing the negative with the 3 to the negative 6. So this is plus negative 3 times negative 6, which is a positive 18. And that's the most common mistake, is people will have a minus 18 there. But we're not done because then we have to combine any like terms. And like terms have the exact same variable parts with them. So the negative 5x squared is the only part there. 
10x minus 12x is a negative 2x, and the 18 is the capacitor. So this is our final expression. It's in standard form. You could change that from minus 2x to plus negative 2x. That's fine as well. So the variable, there's only one. That's the x. The coefficients are negative 5, negative 2, and positive 18. The exponents, there's an exponent of 2, there's an exponent of 1, and technically you could think of this as 18 times x to the 0. Because x to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. So there's technically a 0 degree term in there as well. A constant term is a zero degree term. There are three terms, and the degree of the expression of the polynomial is the degree of the highest degree term, which is two. Lastly, target or target one number four. Please do not do this. And get 25 minus 9. Or, I'm sorry, 25x squared minus 9. That's not right. Or if you did this, and got plus 9, because negative 3 times negative 3 is still positive 9, that's still not correct. Because what you have to do is you have to think of this as 5x minus 3 times itself. And you could use the distributive property. You could make a box, however you choose to do this. There's two, there's a binomial times a binomial, so we need a two by two box. It's a square, that's what this means, 5x plus negative 3 squared means times itself. So when we take 5x times 5x, we get a 25x squared. That's what we get when we multiply the first together. Then 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. That's the outer. Then we distribute the negative 3 to the 5x to get negative 15x again. That's the inner. And then we distribute the negative 3 to the other negative 3, and that's the last, to get a positive 9. When you have two binomials times each other, another way to do that is FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. But these outer and inner combine, so the answer is actually 25x squared minus 30x plus 9. So this is not the answer, although it was close, right? It had everything, except it didn't have this middle term. And there is a trick to that. That middle term is just the 5x and the negative 3 times each other twice. Once for the outer, once for the inner. And that's where you get, right here, a negative 30x.